Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video. And in this video, I'd like to do a bit of a long-term review of this guy right here. This is the Cord Mojo Portable Headphone Amplifier and DAC. And this is it right here. Also, I wanted to talk about the Mojo 2, which is at this point just speculation, just a rumor at this point. Um, but I do want to talk a little bit about that because there is a picture that surfaced online of a rumored Mojo 2. First of all, long-term review of the Mojo. Um, this has been my favorite uh, ultra portable headphone amplifier and DAC for several years now. I will post a link to my original review video right here on the top um, so you can um, see that. I won't rehash everything that I said in that review. But needless to say, in between that review um, and when I originally got the Mojo, I've tried several other headphone amplifier and DACs that work portably like with my iPhone, including a couple iterations of the AudioQuest Jitterbug, uh, as well as a portable headphone amplifier and DAC by HiDes, which I've also reviewed in my channel, both the Jitterbug and the HiDes, and none of them really compare to the Mojo. I keep coming back to the Mojo. It just has a really magical sound to it and yet very detailed at the same time. Also in between my review and now, Neil Young on his website has posted this is what he recommends as um, his device for streaming as well as local files uh, in terms of you know what he and his team uses uh, when playing back like from an iPhone or even like an iPod or something like that. So the Mojo has really been a great investment for me. And there was even a time where I ended up selling my original one and then I missed it, even though I had like the Hugo 2 and the Hugo TT2 and the M scale and all that. Uh, and then I ended up buying it again because I missed it for portable use. So it really has been something that I have been very, very happy with. Um, over the last few years that I've had the Mojo. And in fact, it even traveled with me all the way to Europe on like a, a 15 hour plane flight and you know helped me survive that flight where the family next to me had a really hyperactive kid that just kept kicking me and stuff like that. and just wouldn't leave me alone. Uh, the Mojo made that bearable. I would just, you know, listen to the Mojo, listen to some really cool music and try to take my mind off the long flight. So yeah, this traveled all through Europe um, with me. It's been to, uh, you know, many different countries. Um, it's been to France, it's been to Spain, it's been to Turkey, uh, it's been to Italy, um, it's been to Greece. And to find out all the reasons why, just check out my prior review because linked up there because I don't really want to rehash everything about the sound quality of this and you know all that kind of stuff. But um, suffice to say, I'm just really happy with it for the price paid. Um, really a great device um, for portable music listening um, and definitely a winner. So now let's talk about rumors of a Mojo 2. A few months ago, I saw on our site uh, an image of it posted. Now it wasn't an official site and I can't post a picture of that here in this video because I don't want to infringe on anybody's intellectual property. You know, like it's not out yet and you know, Cord Electronics hasn't officially released any images yet. So I don't want to like, um, you know, post the image because maybe it was even a fake image. Um, it's all speculation and rumors at this point. But from the image that I did see, Number one, it had a USB-C port, whereas you know the original Mojo just has um, USB mini ports on it for charging and listening. So that has a USB charge port, a USB-C charge port. Um, it had a few more buttons on it as well. It was a little bit bigger. One of the buttons was like an M with like a circle around it. And my conjecture on that is that maybe it is a little tiny portable M scaler built into the Mojo 2. So it might have some upscaling built right into it that you can activate on or off. Uh, maybe depending on whether it's you know plugged in or not because that might take a lot of power just my conjecture uh you know none of this is based in anything other than rumors and my conjecture so you know take it with a grain of salt so those are the two main differences between the original mojo and the mojo 2 that i saw the picture of the rumor mojo 2 that i saw but you know anyway if any of this is true i think it'll be a pretty exciting portable headphone amplifier and dac a really cool device and you know the mojo is an important product lineup for cord in fact that's how i originally got into cord i heard so many good things about the mojo uh, a few years ago that i picked one up and i was just so impressed with it and i got more and more interested in cord electronics and rob watts fpga dac technology and you know, subsequently got a hugo 2 then i got a cord hugo tt then I end up getting the Horde Hugo TT2 and the M Scaler, which I have today, and that's my main rig today. Really been impressed with Core Electronics uh, all the way around, and I, it all started with me just getting a Mojo first. 
And I think that's sort of an entry point for a lot of people. So the Mojo is kind of an important product. And it has been out for a few years now. So maybe it is kind of due for a, a bit of an update, you know, with uh, version two of the Mojo. So um, I would, it wouldn't surprise me if a Mojo 2 is very imminent. Uh, it could be very, very soon now, maybe even this month or next month. Um, wouldn't surprise me at all if the pictures that I saw of a rumored Mojo 2 maybe are actually true. But anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts on any of this stuff that I've discussed in this video. But yeah, still really, really happy with the Mojo in terms of uh, for portable devices. Um, it just sounds just really awesome every time I listen to it and I compare it with other devices and everything like that. So thanks for watching this video and for a community and discussion, uh, I will see you in the comments field. And if you thought this video was cool, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give it two thumbs down. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.